I was thinking about beginnings, like I was thinking about that sort of part of a, sometime just before the Big Bang, you know, that sort of pregnancy, the pregnant nothing. So I was thinking about animated states of nothing, so I decided to start movement from there. Well, we're going to do the dance at this beach. It's Greenpoint. Well, I looked all around the park, and uh, there's this really lovely beach at Greenpoint where there's a rock where the, the, the earth has been sort of tipped on its side. And, and there's a point in this, in this rock face that they've established is a sort of a dividing point between Ordovician or Ordovician time and, and um, Cambrian. Uh, but, it, but also it looks real pretty. Mr. Mountie, don't lock 
got this house and then around the corner there's a brown house but then they just keep getting cuter and then your house is I mean the showers so is this is the white house and then the this is the white house, house the brown house <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're in the white house and the green house oh yeah. the yeah. piano here's Neil in the cell hello Neil Neil. you're resting you should be working yes, what are you doing? Relaxing. I'm Nell Coleman I'm Bill's mother and I've come over to see this project and be part of it. How early did you know that Bill was going to be a dancer? Not early at all. He saw a whole series of Fred Astaire films which was put on television. I think he was probably about 14 and he said he wanted to be a dancer and I said no and he said he wanted to be a dancer and I said no. Why did you say no? Well, it's such a hard life. I mean, it's, it really is. And, you know, you don't want to say, oh, yes, dear, go ahead. It's, uh, it is hard. But he did push it, so. Yeah, it's hard. We're, it's, we're like a family business. We do, we have a company and we do big things, you know, uh, but we like to spend money on dancers, not on office stuff. So that puts a burden on our shoulders. We're just Bill and I, really, to run this thing, in general, like in, overall. And then Bill Kimball is helping. And everybody's helping, but it's just really Bill and I. And it's a lot. When you, you step back, it's like, it's like I think people could say it's totally insane that we do things like that. And I would agree with them. The company is performing at this lobster festival. And um, we just wanted to see if you folks thought it was a you know, good idea to extend the day by a few hours. Uh, Margie's going to be here, and this, this guy who's just graduated from Alberta Ballet School, he's 6'4", his name's Philip Payne, and he's from Cowhead. And, and it's kind of his professional debut in many aspects, and it just happens to be in his hometown, so people are going to be peeing their pants about seeing him. I guess when Bill Coleman first started coming to the island and coming down around Gross Morn, he was staying with Glenda and Pat Bavis, and they just had mentioned that there was hey, this is a young boy from Cowhead who, who dances ballet. And so he got interested about that. I was a little dubious at first, because modern work is so different for me. Like I really, not just I've been trained in classical ballet, but that's what I love to do. But dance anyway is, is a language, so it's just nice to add, add more to yourself. This is the first time I've been so close to doing a performance and still not having anything solid. It'll be interesting. That makes it exciting as well. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't even know what's going to happen with the weather, so... Part of the attraction to this project was the fact that I will be home. For sure, I miss it. I miss everything about it. The smell. I think that's what I miss the most, yeah. It was the first official day, I guess. And um, we started with the class, so that's always a good thing. Because suddenly it felt like things were in order and things are going to be all right. Class just does that.
biggest worry right now is around the events in Cowhead and um, making sure that uh, we have a full show. My name is Bill Kimball and I'm with the Coleman Lemieux Company, a dance company that's going to be um, giving you a little uh, show right now. And we're also in town um, next Saturday for a big project called Feel the Earth Move. Did you guys teach, can you guys teach me a dance afterwards? Nope. We don't know how to dance. got things there for the children happening right now and then they've got local singing local singers uh, there's a dance group and after that I'm not too much sure what else but there's it goes on right through to the dance tonight lobster dinners going on over at the church bend their legs while the men take the waist and as we go down the lady is going to jump and the man is just going to lift her and put her back down gently. <laughs> I think everybody likes dance. I mean, I'm quite happy to go anywhere and use dance as a, an introduction or a medium between artists and people. You know, it's great. But here, I think people, dance is really close to people, you know, so I think there was already a little hop, a skip in the step. The idea of dance was, isn't alien at all, and it was, and, and that was really nice to have that, you know, the place was kind of already dancing. And uh, I sort of immediately felt like these people were interested and would dedicate themselves to help making it happen. What is Feel the Earth Move about? Mostly it was an echo of sort of the landscape where I grew up in Scotland. I mean, it's very different. It's, it really is more sort of forbidding and harsher a little bit, the rock. I brought my mom over and I wanted to include the kids. And then when the uh, artists came, you know, I just watched how they kind of responded and jumped around to, to certain places. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, look at this place. I can't get over it. I love wild irises. Everything is here, it's the power of nature. It's the, we feel the different uh, geology also, like when we go to, um, 
to Greenpoint and I have a thing for rocks so I sat for hours just on these 500 million years old rocks and I was like can that be possible? We're actually stepping on them and, and the history of our, all our roots maybe are, are there. We find fo uh, fossil, fossils. Fossils. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's sparkling in it. It's amazing. This is fantastic. It's an almond. It's going to bring you a lot of luck for sure. You, well, you can tell we're miserable by that, 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 that sad look on our faces. You see that, that lack of sparkle in our eyes? Yeah, that, that's a dead giveaway for how horrible it is here. Yeah. It's just so absolutely mind-boggling. <laughs> mind what a move here. Isn't it extraordinary? I mean, wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Or maybe it's to start with the Margie. So start with just the body. So you're standing and you're just swaying. Just the body. And then once you put the, then you put the breath in. And then you go. You're just doing what you're doing rather than thinking and molding to each other. You're just keeping your open plane. But you just have to be close. Rather than thinking, I'm, which I tell you, rather than thinking, oh, I, then, rather than thinking, you don't want us to, to compose? No, I, I, think, I think we somehow you have to make, we have to sort of live together. Okay, but so not, we're a little less. So you have to be, when yeah. you're yeah. <laughs> There so you, you go. Have, <laughs> you're really like a crux. You're just next to each other. And then we have like the, um, the 
this circle rock people that are going to be just moving slowly and, and we're trying to imitate the rock of the cliffs texture. We use that some rubberish stretch fabric because it has all the qualities. It's warm if it's cold uh, uh, over there. It's waterproof a bit. It has an amazing texture like a bit like a skin as well. And we can texturize it and we can put some clay over it and it dries and it's really, really looking like the rocks. My name is Edward Patra, I'm a visual artist and I'm doing the visuals in this project which means working with the environment, the impact that it has is uh, it's so great and it's already beautiful so it's like how do you work with the environment so that's the first problem so it's like how do you function within this and how do you find balance with it without imposing yourself on it when you take uh, humans and stick them into an environment like this. Uh, it raises a lot of questions as to, you know, what are they doing there? And uh, and if they're coming from the outside, it becomes like this colonial thing. How are, you know, again, how are they functioning with the community? And so it's like also looking at the community and the people. It's a real variance in the book too, actually. It's different people up, up that way and it's different people up that way. It's like you get you get the scene that you get in a, well, you know, like a larger town, but it's all squished in one thing. So even if you go 40 feet that way, you're running into different, a different, a different energy than you get as you end up down at the bottom of the pier or heading up towards the pond. It's kind of interesting. I really find it interesting. I don't know, boys, what do you think? I'm a bit weird. I find, I find them all pretty great, actually. They got you figured out. Oh, no. Yeah, they got me figured out. Yeah. Especially these boys here. It's a lazy man's chair. Just a cup holder. Please do cup holder. Please do cup holder. This here is the liar's rock. This is whoever sits here tells the most lies. It's usually me sometimes. I mean, most times. You don't say things like that. Of when it comes to sitting on the lighter rock, it's uh, on the chair. All right. <laughs> Where is this? So this is morning in the morning. These are uh, community yeah, yeah. television. I, I, I like excellent good nature. Good nature. One of the older families that have been, been around. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know. 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 I know it's not here, but this is just such a beautiful space. It's a really beautiful yeah, space. And in the evening, it's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous. Should people gather in? Oh, go for it, go for it. My dear, look, what, we, what the boys does, what the boys does, they, they, when they, this is their last catch yesterday, okay? Because the season's over with. And they usually bring it in and, and, and boil it up. And anybody that wants to come in and eat crab is certainly welcome to. Yeah, everybody comes in here. I don't know if she's in the house or not. Ah, uh, no, I see. Don't waste, don't waste. I got too fast now. I got a cocky. I'm going to give you one. But I got it now, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you got to have a large G, you're wasting some. I know, I know, I know. I'm working on that part. I'm working on it. I'm working on it.
before, but you push it and keep close, and that's it. You know, like, always somebody's there, so it's not... Good. So, good. How does that feel? To his work, I think he's letting me in on to what's inside of him, but I think... I think it's something pretty personal to Bill. He grew up by the sea. His dad was a merchant navy, so... It, there's a lot of that in the family and in his blood. Something that he needs to be expressing, so it's all these... We call them miracles, like the fish transforming into a woman. The cliff, you know, becoming human. Like, it's... I mean, Bill is full of mysteries, and... It's good like that. Because then, there's always something left to try to figure out. Oh yes, yeah, so, so we're going to take a, a mermaid boat for the rain. The people will see it, right? They'll take her in the boat. Right. And then after that, we'll then take it back over, right? And uh, we've been, we've been out with a lot. We've given up all our, all our stores there and cabins and used our cabins. Got everything. What would the ask for? We've all the stuff we've been doing. Right on. Time taking over. <laughs> yeah, well, to say it was like having a uh, big crowded bunch of people taking over your sheds and your boat and everything. Don't matter. No, don't matter. No. Pretty easy to go. Different, different. Different. Thing. Thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Normally goes on down here. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not good, but. No, not good, no. <laughs> it's different, it's way different from what we're used to. Does it any of it remind you of the, uh, you know, things that go on day to day around here? Or? No. We used to say that um, dancers are like the East compared to fishermen because they say we are seasonal workers. I mean, we're totally way different, but there's something in the sort of simplicity of what we do. Um, I don't know, it just feels very welcoming here, and I know people have said that, oh, Newfoundland's so nice, and oh, it's so friendly, and it's more than, it's not, it's more than just friendly people. I felt there was a closeness in the way people are, they're tough, and they're grounded, and I think that's what it is. Okay, and then I start walking. Okay, yeah, you're right. You know, I 
know, probably, it's really beautiful, guys. Probably what's, like, the thing of, oh, Peter's got to follow Robin. I think we kind of have to go with what Peter's doing. So Peter will go into the spaces that he sees, and you, fo and you can follow him. And then and then, how? Yeah, I don't know. This Somehow it's a little bit cross between the mark. Transport truck? You know anybody with a transport truck? Not up here. No, okay. Sorry. Okay. Alright. Alright. So what's gonna happen is the audience is gonna come down here. Alright. And they're gonna come and hang out in the in the lobster hut areas. Alright. And people are gonna be in the huts. Okay, they're gonna look in. There's a big one here. Jen is probably gonna be in there. And they're kinda of, they're just sort of like in, in the interior little glimpses. You know, into life. It's not about somebody standing there, looking like somebody living there. It's it's more like a shadowy glimpse into how that person is feeling. I'm supposed to be an angry drunk man. So I'm just kind of working on that. I don't feel so angry in here. I feel kind of more pressing grief than, than than kind of like raging anger. So so I think I'm going to just be doing something with the ropes. Uh, get them all in a tangle and, um, you know, get a little allegorical. This particular section, it doesn't really have focus or a point aside from the fact that, I don't know, it's like two maids or something, two fishermen that have, that have caught a mermaid. Something that, I guess Bill was saying, something that uh, shouldn't have, we're trying to keep secret, and what the theory is, we're just going about our own everyday business as, as a way to contemplate and distract ourselves from the fact that this beautiful creature, who we shouldn't have taken in the first place, is, is dying on our on our table here, where we normally, you know, cut the fish or do what we do with our lobster and everything else, so this is more what I might normally do when I was home anyway, move an axe at my dad, move something around, so it's difficult, it's difficult to know if what I'm doing is right, it's not like a step where you okay, clearly my weight's not over my leg or, you know, I can't break it down like that, so strange, but I guess as long as it's it's good for the audience, and that's, that's the main thing, so. Well, right now, um, we're feeling pretty good, because it's the night before the show, and uh, they had a run that they're really happy with this afternoon. So that's, that goes well. And um, uh, I think it's a good weather forecast, too. And um, now, tonight, we're going to go over the itinerary and, and schedule. And uh, we're just going to go over all the shows that are going to happen in, uh, in the gym here. Schedule the what time classes? No, I mean for tomorrow, the what time classes? Okay, okay but how are people going to dance if they're going to make warm up? It's a dance show. It always gets more and more gym with tension before the event. It's normal. It's fine. We're almost over. It's a day more. I know. So get everybody to be, you be energetic. But not as tired as you and I are. But we don't want the performers to be like this. We want them to feel at ease and feel ready. So that's where we, there's, a, there's more 
attention on our shoulders, Bill and I and Bill, Kimball. Then, yeah, just so then the performers don't have all that, hopefully, they just have the good tension, not the, the bad tension. Is anybody missing a suitcase? I'm a little tired, but uh, no, good. It was a really nice day. It's all been pretty nice days, once you get to the dancing. I mean, organizing and that stuff's pretty uh, thankless, but the people are very, very uh, uh, professional and everybody's very responsible and I'm pretty confident that it'll go good. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. Okay, you look great. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, so you have the clear. Sounds good. I had to wait on the boat for at least a half hour and I was worried I'd be seasick and the guys were great and they were interested in what I was doing and were asking and our lives and where we came from, what my, my mom was doing. Like it was really neat. But also I think they were keeping me talking so I wouldn't get sick. So they told me, you know, just keep looking at the horizon and face this way, not that way. And they were really nice. And they offered me a can of Pepsi while they drank beer. Which I thought was great. <laughs> by the wind and the wires. There are no electronics involved in this production at all. There are two wires attached to the side of the building running to a far post. And all the sound coming out of this building is caused by the wind vibrating the wires. Come check out the Aeolian harp.
the road, you'll miss it.
Trout River when I was a boy. I knew your grandfather before you were born. Then the old man smiled softly and said with a nod, Why I've spent a lifetime fishing for cod. I talked to the old man till way down in the night. I smoked on a cigarette and he puffed on his pipe. One minute I was clinging to the storm swept scooter's deck, and the next he had me dancing to a swinging sailor jig. There were stories about the good times and songs about the bad. I was drinking Jock Club, he said, rum from the glass. And the minutes turned to hours in my journey through his past, stopping only long enough to get a beer and fill his glass. Me and two more fellas. Here's the grave. Here's the grave here, Lon. No. Ah. I'll let him laugh a bit now. You remember the first grave you dug? No, I don't. Look at the big bug, look. Big beaver. And he's had to kill him. Huh? Mm. I had squat, eh? Yeah, he's had huh? squat. Just look. And so who's going in here? Oh, that's their, that's their sons. Right. That's all their people there. The father and mother's out there, and the three sons there, and a the daughter. So that's who's there. And how old was the man who died? Uh, 62. See no, you? next month you'd be getting his old age pension if he lived. Only August month. Fourth August, he signed his paper in. So he got his money in September. Yeah. And now he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, cancer. Bad sickness. Yeah. Bad sickness, cancer. I got cleaned up good. Scraper all up. Nice ground though. Huh? Careful with the roots, it's got his saucy. You jump into ya. Yes, he's very saucy. Sometimes he jumps into me. He's saucy rooster. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's sweet. You want that little kitten? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice little kitten. I got another one here yet, too. I got two little small ones. So what is it that, what is it you like about having animals? What what is it? Oh, I like keeping animals. Why? Yes, I'm always at that. Oh. Isn't the cat cats? Oh, I got eight or ten here all together when he comes home. He comes home every evening. But I feed them. And what do you do with the dogs? I eat them in the fall of the year. Put some in the roaster. They're good. They're great. Oh yeah. They're beautiful. Oh yeah. They're in the days. Oh yeah.